Okay, today is the day after the slow, uh, storm Brona and is a Welsh name for storm. And I'm now in the allotment and I wish to uh, sow my autumn and winter crops here. This is a um, crown prince and one button of the squash and for me that is finished this is a good size I can use it that's also a good size there's a small button of the squash there I'll just harvest them and then uh, uh, it is done for me how to harvest the crown prince squash um, the squash is this mass as you see here and the plant is attached to this through this is stem this is the stem of the plant this is the stem of the fruit if I cut it from here right away from here either here or here uh, because it is wet at this stage yet it will uh, rot quickly and the rot will go to the squash the whole point of growing the squash is that it's a kind of pumpkin-like plant that you can keep for a long time. Pumpkins, as you know, cannot be kept for a long time. Squashes, on the other hand, can be kept up for a long time. The skin can be easily dried up, keep it in a dry, warm place, and uh, dry, cold place, cool place. And the skin dries up and protects what is inside. The inside remains juicy and lovely. If I cut it from here, all the moisture from here causes mold. The mold will advance toward the stem, toward the inside of the uh, squash. It will not last more than a few weeks to a month. I don't want that to happen. I want to keep this probably for several months. I have squashes in my home now, which have been there for around two years now. Uh, <laughs> I will show you later. So, if I want to cut it from here, that is wrong. What I have to do is to cut it somewhere here, either here, here, that uh, any rot, any, any rot before advancing toward the main stem will dry up. The main stem will also dry, have the time to dry here. So I'm going to cut it from this point. As you can see, when I press it, it's a kind of juicy thing comes. You can feel the juice. Okay, I'm cutting this part also. So two cuts, both of them long in a way that gives the plant a good amount of the time that it has to dry before anything else happening. So our Crown Prince Winter Squash is ready to harvest. It's harvested and ready to be stored. Hopefully for one year, who knows? Or if we eat it early, earlier. Have a longer season, probably this conference will give me a few more. As you can see, there is flowers yet on it. And more flowers here. Some tiny fruitlets, as you can see. But we live in Britain, 51 degrees north of the equator, same as Halifax in Canada, it's already cold there, it's a polar climate. So, I just harvested our our squashes. Is a crown prince, one is small and one miserable, really tiny button of the squash. I planted that one really late. I didn't expect it to become anything. But anyway, we have a crop and I've always set it. Now is the time to remove the whole plant to clear the land. It's a no dig bed, so it's very easy. I don't expect too much trouble. I've now cut the stem of the pumpkin squash into squash and I'm now removing the plant oh 
so easy. <laughs> okay, that's the beauty of the Nordic. <laughs> you just remove the thing and that's it, that's done. Oh.